Shannon Carney Alexic is a registered dietitian and a healthy living advisor for Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, and uh, she's ready for Halloween. What will your costume be, Shannon? Well, my house costume is going to be something spooky. You know, those little goblins that come up to the door, we have to make it a fun day for them. You know, I was just talking about that yesterday uh, because I think I'm going to be the one handing out the candy while everybody else goes foraging, if you will. Uh, And uh, I I said I should put a costume on and get in the spirit, but I don't want it to be too scary that the little ones are afraid to approach the door. I know, that can be a concern. We have a pretty spooky house for our neighborhood. Um, We really enjoy Halloween. So, okay, I'm going to take it easy. I'll come up with something goofy. But you have a lot of tips uh, here about, you know, making the uh, Halloween safe and healthy, too. I do. I know, um, you know, Halloween can be a really challenging time for parents, especially those that are really focused on a healthy lifestyle and um, that that's a big priority for them. And I think we can really, you know, achieve, you know, a happy medium between allowing kids to enjoy the holiday and still reinforcing those healthy choices. You're not suggesting we have a salad bar on the front lawn, are you? Oh, no, I'm, I'm not, actually. I'm just talking about setting your kids up for, you know, a great evening. How do we do that? Well, I'll take notes. You talk. Oh, okay. okay. Um, well, not sending them out on an empty stomach. It's just really important that they have a good, healthy meal before trick-or-treating starts. Make sure their tummies are full. Um, mm-hmm. And I think that really helps, you know, set the tone for the evening. They can also carry um, trick-or-treat bags that are appropriate for their size. Um, you know, small bags for smaller kids. Oh, I used to take uh, a pillowcase. Uh, well, you know, I did too during my childhood. But now we know that that's a little too large of a bag. <laughs> um, so it's just really important to think through some of the small things. You know, reminding kids to wait till they get home to eat any of their goodies. And we, we just want to be make sure they're safe. As parents, we want to go through them. And, you know, only do things that are commercially wrapped and, you know, throw away anything that might look like it's tampered with. Mm-hmm. Is it you okay? Know? Do kids like toys instead of candy, like little gadgets and stuff? You know, that's what we do at our house. Do. So, you know, you don't always just have to pass out candy. You know, there's a lot of fun non-candy alternatives that kids, that kids actually really like. I did a little, you know, poll at our house last year, and um, the, the non-food items are actually more popular. So... It's a really fun option, and you can get, you know... Like, some, like what? Stickers um, and crayons and things like that? I, I give out stickers and pencils mm-hmm. and some funny racers and temporary tattoos, um, you know, little mini bottles of bubbles, mm-hmm. those little vampire teeth, glow bracelets, all kind, those kind of little things. Kids really love that stuff. I've even seen some other families handing out toothbrushes, um, bookmarks. There's Lots of fun things you can pick up at the store for really reasonable prices, especially even if you shop the day after Halloween and prepare for next year. you suggesting that you buy some of the candy from your kids? Um, you know, some families really do that. You can arrange a buyout. You know, kids, it's the thrill of going and trick-or-treating more so for many children than, the, you know, the, actually all the candy. Really, there's probably a small portion of the candy that the kids really, really love. And, um, you know, you can consider arranging a buyout. That's a great way to let them pick out their favorites and set those aside for eating. And then, you know, some, you can pay, you know, a small a nickel uh, a piece or, you know, some other amount and let kids earn something, earn some money towards something they know they really want. I like your and, switch witch idea. Would you explain that to us? Yes. In, um, in our house, um, we sort through the candy after Halloween and uh, my son saves, you know, his favorites. And then we set out a bowl, and uh, the switch witch actually comes to our house, and she leaves him a, a surprise because she is so excited to get all that candy. Uh, so it's really, um, it's really something to look forward to. And my son knows that, you know, if he leaves out more, the switch witch might leave him something even more exciting. So... It it's, it's really makes the, um, it's a little, you know, another way to make the holiday fun and um, something for kids to look forward to. Okay, you can have a look at all of these ideas and more at ahealthiermichigan.org. And uh, you can sort that all out, too. The Michigan State Police also will remind us between now and Friday to uh, go soft on the pedal and keep your eyes out at that time of the night. Two trick-or-treating happens when all the accidents happen because it's twilight. And make sure your kids have costumes that are visible when they get excited on the sidewalk and in the street, too. 